What's up guys, we're gonna roll beats. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a baby king make Kendrick Lamar type beat. If you guys haven't subbed already or turn post when it's on, make sure you do so, cause it does help it a lot. Let's hop right into it. So for my elements, um, we have the BPM at 117. You could go like 116, something like that. It doesn't really matter. Um, and obviously we can just use a minor scale um, and we can just go with a D minor. It's pretty, a pretty dark one. So those are like our main elements. And then in the next part, I'm gonna be talking about the sound selection that I have as we start the melody. All right, so the sound selection, we just got some basic trap drums, you know, typical stuff. And then the main part, which is the melody sound selection, uh, we have texture. All right, now this is important. This is the most important part because it's gonna stop you from adding way more sounds than you need because it's gonna fill up the background. All right, so get you some noise, some texture, some atmosphere, something like that. All right, and then this, if you want it to sound legit, you're gonna need brass, okay? so. Anything that sounds like this, all right? Strings, you don't need them, but they do help fill up the background and give like rhythm. So that's why I'm using some strings on staccato mode, all right? And then we have a low flute. You do not need this, but I just felt this might be might not be enough. So I just added in a flute just to help make it a little bit more melodic, I guess. All right, so that is it for the sound selection. And don't think you need these plugins because I'm using them. These are just the ones that I chose to use. I could have used Omnisphere for this. It doesn't really matter. Um, so that's it. So let's go ahead and start on making a beat. Okay, so now we're gonna start with our texture and this is super easy. We're just gonna place something down. Metal Golem is the preset. Um, so we'll just literally play something like this. I'm gonna turn this down a bit. All right, it sounds bad now, but once we put stuff over it, it's gonna sound a lot better in there. All right, so let's move on to our brass. All right, next up we have our brass. Now this is very important because it's gonna be like the main of our melody. Um, so I have this in staccato mode. Okay, now I'm gonna be giving you the notes you need to make your own melody because I know it's kind of difficult when you see someone make something, you automatically wanna follow that pattern. Um, so these, uh, hold up. These are the notes that you need, just these four, and you could transpose it how you like, um, but with this combo, you could literally make any style of this melody that you want, or like in that style. And you can see it's already giving that vibe. You just gotta kind of build off of it. So you could like play stuff up here. You can use these. You can do stuff like that. You can just switch them around. And then let's, I don't know, let's try. something like that right you could just i'm just trying to show you how easy it is to build stuff right and i only got this this the same note is our root so it works up here and then we could let's take these two notes pull them up and then we can kind of add a ending part over here and just copy this over and i may need to fix some things but i'm gonna just see how this sounds And let's pull these two down so it's a little different, so it's not the same. Okay, and let's actually shrink that down. And I am using the thirds grid, okay? You don't need to use that, that's just a style type of thing. Um, but I'm just gonna run with this, I like that. So hopefully that was helpful. Let's move on to what do we have, our strings. All right, so now we have our strings and this part is important because this is where people start to mess up their melody and make it unwrappable, right? Because we already have a main melody, right? So everything we make from here should support this. It shouldn't fight it or clash it or try to make like a different melody. Now, a counter melody is something a little different. It's just kind of, it's like a little accent, I guess, somewhere in there. And I'll show you that with the flute. Um, but what we can do to make sure we stay in harmony and rhythm is we can just copy notes from here and then build on that. So we can take this, these two, put it on the strings, and then to build on it, we could just do something like that or you could change the rhythm however you want. Um, but I'm gonna just do something like this just to keep it simple so we can save time. And I'm gonna pull these up and see what these sound like. All right, and that's gonna create bounce later too. Um, so let's go ahead and copy these down to add some weight to it. 
And we could just turn these down somewhere right there. Okay, I like that for the strings and let's move on to the last instrument, which is the flute. All right, so we have our flute. Now what this is like our counter melody kind of, so, um, so same thing, we wanna support our main melody. So we just wanna kinda stick to the notes here, right? So we can just use like these four notes I was talking about right here. Um, but I'm not gonna use this note because I want this to sound a little bit darker. So I'm gonna take these notes. Um, and this is the safe way of doing it. So you won't mess up. So it'll sound good every time. If you wanna try to experiment and use notes outside of these four notes uh, for this style, you can, cause you probably can get something really that sounds really good. Um, but I'm just showing you a safe way. Um, so you can kinda do this as many times as you need. So we can just do a rhythm like this and then let's try something like this. And let's copy this over and then let's just finish that rhythm we did over here. Where is it? Uh, kind of like this. We're just gonna pretty much just uh, mimic that over here. Let's copy over and let's see what it sounds like. All right, so that's our flute. Okay, and let's move on to our 808 now. All right, so the 808, this is pretty easy. We're just gonna follow the same kind of rhythm um, as the style. So we don't need to do too much. Um, so we can just start here and that might be way too loud. And I'm gonna switch to half B grid so we can kind of get this 808 pattern in there. Let's copy it over. And then over here, I'm gonna just do my own thing and I'm going to pull this down five. So one, two, three, four, five, it lands on that A. And then we can kind of maybe do something like this and play with the velocity a bit. As a matter of fact, let's go back to the third grid. Okay. And let's just put three little notes here. Pull this up an octave and we could change the velocity of these. Kind of see what that sounds like. these be a little bit louder and I'll fix that later. So that's the air to wait. Now let's go ahead and place in the rest of our drums. Now we have our drums and I might fast forward through like the little ones here, but the main part with the style, what you want to do is kind of place drums in their own little spots, right? Cause you don't want to necessarily do this and do all this other stuff, right? You want everything to kind of like start and stop, right? So you could do something like this. Like stuff like that right and then you can start to put other things in there but what i'm gonna do is just copy this kick down real quick so we can get this over with um we can turn these up i like to copy my kick okay and we can mute that so for these same thing we just kind of All right, so that is what that sounds like. And then from here, once we have this like bass, you can just start to put the snares and everything in their own little place. So we can like the obvious places right here. Um, you don't want to go too heavy on it. You just kind of want to let everything kind of uh, flow how it how it wants. So maybe some right here. You can see how this texture is helping kind of the flute. It's making it so we don't need the rest of the instruments necessarily because of the texture. So that's why earlier I said the texture was important. Um, so let's see, let's see what this will sound like right here. I'm not sure where I want that. So I'm gonna just leave it right there. All right, and I'll probably fast forward through a little bit of that. So those, well, here's the whole beat. All right, so hopefully that wasn't too long. So those are the drums and those are like kind of the things you need to follow. Um, so what we need to do now is process it. And this is the part people forget. So I'm gonna just load up some stuff and just show you some things you could throw on some of your sounds. Okay, so for post-processing, all I did was just level things a bit. And then I hold control, click and drag, right click, track routing, route select to this track only, to put everything into a bus. 
and then what i would do is usually just take out some of the base here too and then add an rc20 but for my texture i added a fetrix and it's just a stutter little effect with some reverb and this is going to make it kind of sound like a metronome just give it some bounce okay so i'm gonna play everything else with the rc20 preset you can copy this if you want all right Right, just gives it some character like it's been processed through something so it's not so light in your face now i'm gonna show you what i use and then what you could use um so these right here is are the ones that i use and i'll play the bass with it okay so you can hear the difference so this is regular right and this is going to make the bass very very subby okay this plug-in fat bottom preset as you can see super subby and then to control it, I use this uh, Lifeline Expanse plugin. Okay, and this is just what I like to use. You don't need these, it's just what I found um, gives me the sound that I like. Um, and I still do need to mix the drums, but um, that's what I use. So what you could use, right, is the frequency splitter. Okay, and then you can use a soft clipper, the 79%, and then you could just kind of pull the threshold down or up, however you like. So that's what it sounds like. Right, you can mess with these to get the sound that you want. So that is it for the post-processing. Uh, that's going to be for this video. Hope this is helpful. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.